Hello again, I am Jim Bob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this special mod spotlight on the BSM trailer pack. Now, we've had most of this pack available for quite some time now, but today we finally had the long awaited logging trailer released and they also gave us some updates for the other parts of the pack as well. So, let's have a quick rundown of exactly what we get in the pack. We'll uh, go through the updates that have come out for the other parts and then we'll take a, a more detailed look at the new logging trailer. So, first off, we have the semi-tipper trailer. Now, this was the first part of the pack to be released. We've had this for quite some time now. And uh, it's gone through various different iterations with uh, little updates here and there. To start off with, it just had a basic tip height of 15 degrees. Then they released a patch which enabled you to tip to a height of 50 degrees and also changed the color of the trailer. That brought uh, some issues where the uh, the height with the back door swinging open so wide meant that it would actually collide with the trailer that was attached behind it. So they then patched it again and uh, brought in uh, an option of two tip heights, one at 15 degrees with a grain door and one at 50 degrees with a door wide open. They also released uh, the dolly to help cause uh, you know, get around some issues with that as well, and we'll go through that in just a moment. And then today, they added a new option to be able to change rim colors. And we're just going to quickly set this thing up. So we're going to go with a black base and a white shell. There we go. And we'll just lease one of these. And the other option that they introduced was covers. This came out today as well as the uh, changeable wheel rim options. So now, whereas before we had a flat trailer, flat top trailer, we now have this angled triangular covering over the top that we can roll back and uh, becomes a nice little tidied roll on the side of the trailer there. So this new framework allows us to actually have removable covers on the trailer and I really love this. You know, uh, I've been lamenting the fact that we haven't had covers on these trailers for a little while. It's great that we now actually do have them. And the other thing as well is that uh, they actually give us a little bit of additional height by having this angled triangular piece of framework across the top rather than just a straight cover, you know, draped over the top. So uh, it makes the trailers look a little bit taller now as well, which makes them more suitable for uh, pairing up with the barrel core or the, uh, the legend truck that is on its way in the near future from BSM as well. So there we go. That is the changes and the updates that we've received to the grain trailer. So the second part of the pack is the semi bale trailer. Uh, this has also been out for a little while now and uh, again we've had a, a little bit of an update on this today. So uh, as before you know we were able to change uh, the design color but now we can also change the main color as well. So we're going to go with uh, white on that as well. Nah, we'll go with black, the same as before. Uh, again, the wheel options are still there. We have the option of changing the rim colors now. So we'll go with white rims. Uh, we had the option for ladders for a while. And now we can also add the oversized load convoy or langer plates at the back as well. So let's take a look at the logging trailer. So, again, we now have uh, you know, a little bit more customization option with this trailer. And there's the new oversized load bumper sticker at the back. Before we couldn't change this, uh, this underneath section, this was always in red. Uh, we didn't have any control over that, but now we do. And uh, obviously we have this panel along the top. This is a separate you know, set of... Uh, color options for us so plenty of ways to set your trailers up to the way that you like them so that is the changes that we've received today to the bale trailer and the third part of the uh, pack is the semi dolly now this was brought out shortly after they made the uh, second set of updates to the semi tipper uh, after the uh, issues where it was colliding with the trailer behind when unloading now the thing I love about this is the fact that we have 
this ability to change the place of the uh, back attacher. So I'm going to do two of these so I can show you the difference. But again, same customization options. We can change the uh, the main color of the dolly now, which is awesome. We can also change the rim color. That's another part of the update. Uh, wheel options have always been the same, and this has always been the same. But we'll go with two of these. So let's lease one with the uh, in-back attachment, and then one with the centered attachment. So here we go. These are the new look dollies pretty much identical uh, as I say the only real difference now is the fact that we can change the color of them and that we can change the rim colors as well but this is what I love about these is the fact that you can actually change the position as to where your attacher is so you can create a bigger gap if you wanted to between the trailers by having one connecting here you've got a, a much bigger gap here than you did before if you have it in the center, it's more compact, it's a little bit more streamlined, um, but you, know, you do potentially run the issue of colliding trailers. Plus it does impact your uh, ability to turn a little bit as well. So I do like the fact that we have these, uh, these staggered options. These are fantastic. But there we go, that's the update that we had today for the dolly. So now it's time to look at the brand new release that came out today, the semi-log trailer. So these are our options. We have the main color. We're going to set that at white, keep the theme going. Wheel setup. Again, we have the option of standard or wide tires. We can change the rim color. So let's go with white rims. In terms of design, we can have in standard <coughs> oversized load, convoy, langer. We'll go with the oversized load. And then second design option down here is with or without protection. So let's lease one with and one without so you can see the differences. There we go. So the protection is essentially it's this grid here. This is something for your logs to uh, hit up against without going straight through the back of your truck. Everything else on these is, is pretty much identical. But uh, these are absolutely fantastic, and they're big as well. And we have plenty, as you can see, plenty of options with it when it comes to straps. Loads and loads of straps. So your load is always going to be nice and secure. I absolutely think this looks fantastic. And of course it has that wonderful gimmick of being able to tip. So let's show you that in operation. We'll hook up to this one here. And if we just drive back a little bit, it's nice and straightforward. Just simply hold down L1 and then unfold the trailer. Down go the, uh, the rails on one side and the whole thing tips up. And look at the angle that it tips at. Look how severe that angle is. You shouldn't have any issues unloading your logs with the trailer at that angle there. And then just simply uh, L1 and X to fold it back up again. And there we go. The pillars extend again and everything writes itself up. And there is all the straps. So as you can see, plenty of straps. Now I did say that this trailer was big. So I'm gonna show you just how big regular viewers of my uh, Big Bud Farm series on Mustang Valley Ranch will uh, have seen me do some logging recently and uh, I saw that I recently switched to the Timber Runner from the BioBelts Claw trailer because this was a little bit longer this is currently the longest length logging trailer that we have in the game that's changed now the uh, longest length trailer is this the uh, BSM trailer and it is considerably longer so that means you can cut longer lengths and still get really good double stacks so let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of just how much longer this thing is there we go look how much further this thing sticks out at the back you've got all this 
as basically extra length. That's a huge amount extra. It means this thing is going to be absolutely huge. And of course, with this back attacher here, we can use uh, two, three, four, five, however many of these that we want to chain together. You can move an entire forest in one go using these trailers here. Absolutely huge. It is just, you know, a monster, monster trailer. That size comparison is absolutely massive. So the next thing that's left is to actually put some logs in it take it and tip it and see just how effective it is at being able to tip so the easiest way to do that is let's remove all of these logs first of all these are six meter long lengths that I've got in the uh, trailer here what I like to do with the timber runner is run two stacks of six meters so you get the first stack there the second one here and it just sticks out a little bit just a little bit over the edge but nothing too severe. That's the way I've done my logging in the past. But if we move this out of the way, you can strap those down so they don't go flying all over the place. Let's move this trailer out of the way. We have another pile there of logs that were supposed to go onto this timber runner. They are also six meter long lengths. And uh, I'm gonna bring the trailer over and we're going to start loading it up, so I need to go grab my log loading tractor. So now that we have logs in both of these trailers, let's do another of our side-by-side -side comparisons. So first up, this is the timber runner, and uh, there's the strap placement as you can see. And what I've also done is stuck a log at the back, so you can see just how much it hangs over the edge. And then behind that, an almost identical kind of configuration here we have logs on the new BSM bale, uh, log trailer and here's the strap placement on these so you can see that we have one here one kind of in the middle of the section and then either side of the pillar we get placements of straps another one kind of central and then either side of the pillars again but it gives us a really nice secure way of log, you know, strapping down those logs and then we have one single six meter log behind it again kind of parallel to the one on the other trailer and again you can see the strap placement nice and secure and look how much space is left over so they are literally you know line astern with each other in terms of length and you can see how much more space you have for additional log length so you could turn these six meter lengths into eight meter lengths quite comfortably I would imagine and uh, shuttle eight meter long lengths which is great for using the scorpion because that can go up to eight meters in, in cutting length so uh, that's what the two trailers look like with uh, a load and how much clearance we have left at the end of the trailer using six meter long uh, log lengths as you can see we do have a working beacon at the back of the trailer and we also have working indicators and working lights as well no lights down the sides of the trailer but we don't really need them but it is a really impressive looking trailer and again just look how long this thing is on the road when this thing's fully loaded with eight meter long lengths this thing's gonna look incredible so it's time to do the unload test. Now our lumber mill is uh, just around the corner. Here it is. So we have a mill pond. We're not gonna go with that. What we are gonna go with is the cell box just here. So we're gonna let this car go through. There we go. And uh, given that it tips on the left, <clears throat> and there isn't a way to change that, it will always tip to the left. Let's position this on the cell box. And then tip our locks. So there we go. Let's unstrap the locks. 
and let's do the tip test. Absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. No issues whatsoever. I mean, that's such a steep tip angle that I think you're, uh, unless you've managed to really jam a log in there, you're not going to have any issues with logs failing to go in. And the other thing as well is look how smooth and flat it is all the way along. There's no uh, differing real heights. You know, we have obviously the, uh, the bars that the logs themselves sit on. But apart from that, it's a really uniform height. So uh, it's a fantastic little uh, feature, this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I really do. And it's going to make logging so much easier. No longer are you going to have to uh, scramble around with telehandlers or wheel loaders using logging claws to unload a trailer. No longer are you going to have to reset a trailer over a cell box because it's not working, because it's too high up and can't drop the logs in automatically. Now you can literally just drive up and tip the logs straight in like this. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, there we go. That is the logging trailer in operation. So there we have it, the complete BSM trailer pack all completely updated today and uh, the pack is now complete now that we have the semi log trailer the only thing now that we are waiting for to sort of kind of complete this set is the legend truck that is currently being worked on that is about two to six weeks away according to uh, black sheep they're in their final stages of testing before they submit it through to giants so uh, it could be in just a couple of weeks it could be you know a month or so before we actually see that but uh, they're, at, they're estimating two to six weeks, so uh, hopefully we won't have to wait too long for that. But there we go, the BSM trailer pack, an absolutely fantastic pack. When it was first announced, we got really, really excited when we saw all of the options. And then it came out in dribs and drabs, you know, one piece at a time. It's now complete. And if you don't have this pack, I highly, highly recommend you get it. It really does make a huge difference on the farm especially on the larger farms like Mustang or Outback. Even some of the farms that are a little bit kind of twisty, you know, Sandy Bay, if you choose the correct route, then you can kind of negate some of those uh, twisty, windy hills where these extra long trailers are going to perhaps catch on the hills or the hedges. But it's still you know, a wonderful pack that is usable on most maps without any issues whatsoever. So I highly recommend that you get this pack if you haven't already done so. There we go. So, thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I will catch you back on the channel very soon.